I tried out two free editing apps to see if it's possible to make a stop motion video with just the raw pictures and no special stop motion apps. So I have three editing apps for the computer. I'm going to start with Microsoft Clipchamp because I've used it before so I kind of know my way around it a little bit. But I have not made a video with just pictures. So I'm going to see if you can use only pictures for making a stop motion video. Let's take a scene from the cookout video. And this <laughs> has a lot of pictures. This might, this might take a while. So my goal here is to be able to create a full stop motion video with just the pictures and then also adding in sounds myself and it is good <laughs> it is already very very slow it's only adding it's, <laughs> it's only adding one at a time if I go here at time okay I added all of them <laughs> this is so slow okay I'm thinking it's not possible to set all of them at the same time to a specific length so what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna try something else I'm gonna I'm gonna import all of the pictures into my timeline that way I know how long each one is so um, I'm gonna try to export this so we're gonna save this and then what I want to do is I want to come back onto another clipchamp project import this new video and then speed up the video so I'm in a new project now here's the new video that we just made it's 15 minutes long now we're gonna go we're gonna select it we're gonna go to speed the quickest speed is 16 so so we're gonna do it again we're gonna export this and then we're gonna make it even faster I think this is actually the right speed so first I'm going to I'm going to delete that first part. It should be approximately 15 frames per second. It might not be exact, but it's very close. So yes, you can take raw pictures, put them into Clipchamp, and make a stop motion video. It's just not very, it's just not very convenient. Unless I did it wrong. The next thing I want to do is I want to add audio. I'm going to add in the music and the original audio from this clip. Oh, am I holding up the line? I'm sorry. Give me a minute. That works. So, in my the original video, I made a cut right here. Oh, am I holding up? So I slowed down this frame right here. I'll go ahead and end it right there. It should be finished. Oh, am I holding up the line? I'm sorry. Give me a minute. And then I would also just add in add in the rest of the sound effects wherever. I do not think Clipchamp has an option to voice over. <gasps> Wait, they it does. And I think that's actually all I would need to make a stop motion video. That's all I would use. So this next one is CapCut and apparently my computer can run it smoothly, so that's good to know. Guess I'm going to go through this little tutorial. Okay. Let's do the Let's do the astronaut. Now, can I just drag all of them? I can, I can drag all of them. We have some extra options like saturation, brightness, that's that's good to know. Okay, so here you can set the image duration. Oh, let's do frames. Okay, so 24 is the lowest. We can't go to, okay, if we go to 30 frames per second, then we can set the duration to two, but it's very, very slow. Delete those. Whoa, what just happened? What'd I do? Why is my screen down there now? Okay, so now we have music in here. Oh, right here, is this? This must be it. Now I want to, I want to recreate what he says. Okay, so it looks like it works. It's just very, very slow because my computer can't keep up with this. So I'm gonna try some of these effects. Oh, so we have a little bit of camera shake for this, this one. That's really cool. Shape. It's snowing. It's snowing on the moon. That's, <laughs> that's really cool, but it's really hard on my computer. I think I'm going to call that good. As long as uh, this exports correctly, then I think that'll be really good. This is This is the Chief Slope Productions. Oh, wait. 
Hold on. Okay, that's actually really cool. So it did it did export okay. It's just that it's really hard to see what you're working with in CapCut because you, my computer can't keep up with everything that's going on. So yes, you can make a stop motion video with just these editing apps alone. Thanks for watching.